Hi and welcome to this video which will show you how to download SPSS 21 for the Mac. Let's start by opening Firefox and going to onthehub.com. Once you're at the website, scroll down until you see IBM SPSS in the left hand column. Click once on the link and then scroll up the screen. As you move your mouse over the image it will change. Now click on the Save on SPSS button. You will now see the SPSS software screen. Click once on the IBM SPSS Statistics 21 icon. Scroll down until you see the IBM SPSS Statistics Base Grad Pack 21 for Mac with a six month rental, as this is the software that you'll need for STA 102. Now, click Add to Cart to add the software for purchasing. You will now see the login or registration screen. Seeing this is our first time to the site, we will register for our own login. Click the register button. On this screen, select the first option as we will be using our Swinburne student email address to register. Now click continue. On the next screen, you must enter your Swinburne student email address. Please do not use any other email address. Now click the continue button. The next screen asks for more details. Enter your last name here. Enter your first name here. You'll see that your Swinburne student email address is used for your username and that it's already populated on the screen. You can choose to receive information regarding special offers, but we will leave that unticked. Create a password which has a minimum of six characters. For security, this should be something easy for you to remember, but hard for others to guess. Type the password again for confirmation. Scroll down and you'll see that your institution and email details have again been pre-populated on screen. For your group details, select Students from the drop-down menu. Now press the Register button. You should then see on the next screen a message stating that you've registered and that a verification email has been sent to your student account. Further profile information is required on this page. Please select all the relevant information from the drop down boxes on screen. When you've finished, click the Save button to continue. This screen shows that you've completed your registration and profile information, but your account verification is not yet complete. In a new browser window, go to Outlook.com and sign in using your Swinburne student email address and password.
you should see an email similar to the one on screen. Click the link indicated on screen to verify your account. Enter your account username and password again to verify your account. If all goes well, you should be taken to the Data Analysis Software page. From here, click on the IBM SPSS link on the left. Once again, click the IBM SPSS Statistics 21 icon and on the next page, make sure that the Mac tab is selected. Now, scroll down to the IBM SPSS Statistics Base Grad Pack 21 for Mac with a six month rental and then click the Add to Cart button. On this screen, you will see that the software has been added to your cart. Scroll down and click on the Checkout button. You will now go through a series of screens. The first is the Messages screen. Scroll down and click on the I Accept button. The next screen is the End User License Agreement screen. Again, scroll to the bottom and click the I Accept button. This screen details the terms and conditions regarding the software download. Again, scroll to the bottom and click the I Accept button. This screen is a short survey asking you how you found out about the On The Hub website. Select the appropriate responses from the drop-down menus. When you're ready, click the Next button. The next screen deals with billing. It's important that you fill these details in correctly. In this demonstration, we've previously set up our billing details, but if it's your first time, you will be asked to fill in all the relevant information on screen. The next step is to select the method of payment you will be using. Click the appropriate radio button and the screen will expand to display more fields. Fill in the appropriate fields ensuring that you fill in the fields marked with a red asterisk as they are mandatory. For this demonstration, we will blank out the fields as we fill them in. When you're ready, click the Next button. This screen repeats your profile information, which should already be pre-populated. Check that all the fields are correct and change any as required. When you're ready, click Next. This screen shows a summary of your transaction details, along with the confirmation of payment. Scroll through the page to ensure all the details are correct and then click the Proceed with Order button. Finally, you will see a receipt screen which details your purchase. Now that your purchase is complete, it is time to download the SPSS software. Click the Start Download button. Click the Download SDM button. You will be prompted to save the file to your computer. Make sure that the Save File radio button is selected, then click OK. You are now prompted to choose a location to save the file. We recommend saving the file in your Downloads folder. Click the Save button and the STM download will start. From the Downloads window, 
double click the sdm.pkg icon to start the SDM installation process. The SDM installer will commence. Click the continue button to move to the next screen. Click continue on the software license agreement screen. Click the agree button to continue. Now click the install button to install the software. Once you've been notified that your installation was successful, click the close button to complete the process. Our next step is to download the SDX file which will start downloading our purchase software. Click on the download.sdx button. You will then be prompted to open the file using the secure download manager that we just installed. Ensure that this button is checked then click OK. The secure download manager will start. You will see that your software will be downloaded and saved in this area which is your downloads folder by default. If you wish to change this, click the change location link to choose another area to save your file. We recommend leaving it at the default location. Finally, click the start download button. Depending on your internet connection, this may take quite some time as it is a large file. We've sped the process up for this demonstration. You will see that the Start Download button has changed to Launch. Click this button to see your downloaded SPSS software installation program. Your Downloads folder will appear. Scroll down until you see the SPSS Statistics 21 Mac folder. Open it to see the SPSS Statistics 21 Mac.dmg installer file. Double click the file to create the installation disk. Again, this process will take some time as it is a big file and we've sped the process up for this demonstration. You will now see the SPSS statistics installer icon on screen and you're now ready to install SPSS. Please refer to the SPSS installation video for this process. Thanks for watching this video and all the best of luck.